Hey there, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is Uma coming to you with your weekly reading for December 4th through December 9th. Monday, December 4th through Saturday, December 9th. I have your weekly reading. I'm using four decks tonight. The Archangel Michael deck, Romance Angels deck, Angel Tarot, my favorite, and Ascended Masters. So here we go. We're pulling three cards from each deck to give us an idea for the beginning, the middle, and the end of the week. Beginning, we're calling Monday, Tuesday, middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and end of week, Friday, Saturday. So may we please have a message for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, Spirit. This one right here. And can we also have a message for the end of the week? I'm sorry, middle of the week. We didn't even get there. Wednesday, Thursday, guys. Wednesday, Thursday. Thank you. And end of the week, Friday, Saturday. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go to the Romance cards, the Romance Angels for Sun, Moon, Rising in Earth, um, Air Signs, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, and then this is the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and we have the end of the week, Friday, Saturday. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, and now we're going to get into the Archangel Michael deck. Again, asking for air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius beginning of the week, middle of the week, and end of the week. And finally, we're going to end with the Ascended Masters for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, beginning of the week, end of the why do I keep going to the end of the week, guys? I'm so sorry. I'm like totally losing it. Middle of the week. I keep trying to skip over your middle, your middle of the week. And end of the week. Friday and Saturday. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I have my friends here that have just came in and they're eating. All right. So give me a second. Let me go ahead and look at the beginning of your week. I want to look at the cards first before I give you your messages. So air signs, this is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in sun, moon, and rising. So what I'm getting, I'm going to put these two together because there's something here. I'm getting that you're going to have a job opportunity, guys. There's something coming up for you, air signs, Monday and Tuesday in terms of career and job opportunities or some of you are thinking about your life purpose because you're getting a lot of strong messages about that. We have from the Archangel Michael deck, literally the card that says this is your life purpose. So whatever it is that you're doing or thinking about doing, okay, this card is saying that, yeah, you're on the right path. And then we get that from, we get it coupled with the Angel Tarot deck, Two of Fire, which talks about coming into your own, developing partnerships with other people, um, signing contracts, you know, creating partnerships, not working alone. So I know that there's going to be an opportunity that comes up today, Monday or Tuesday, where it's falling in line with your life purpose, with what you really want to do. And Spirit is encouraging you to follow through with that. In terms of the love front, my air signs, my lovely, lovely air signs, romance angels are asking you to retreat, take time to disconnect from the world. What I love reading about different signs is you guys react to things differently. So for the earth signs, I would say to them, okay, retreat, like literally go into the woods and spend some time there. But for you earth signs, what I'm, um, you air signs, what I'm going to tell you guys is get off the internet. Because you guys are so analytical, you're so in your minds, you're so in intellectually analyzing everything. I bet a bunch of you are right here, right now on YouTube, looking at tons of videos, looking at how to better yourself in some kind of way, or learning about whatever you can learn about for your particular situation. So with this retreat card, I'm going to say to you, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, to get off the internet. 
Spend some time at home, meditate, chill, you know, Netflix and chill. You can watch a movie. I'll give you that. Okay. But in terms of the other stuff, like researching, learning, just let it go a little bit. And coupling that with the Jesus card, open your heart to love. So I feel that for these air signs, you're going to be getting some sort of movement on the love front. And you know how you air signs are. You kind of like to shut down or keep people at a distance. And spirit is saying, don't, don't do that. Okay, retreat from all the messages you think you're receiving in terms of how sensitive you need to be about this topic. Just open your heart to love and just be in a place of love from the heart. Okay, so that's the beginning of the week. It's looking really promising. And for some of you, you might be getting in contact with like your soulmate or your twin flame and it might be freaking you out a little bit. And, you know, don't go into your mind space. Stay in your heart. So for the middle of the week, we have King of Air. Explore your options. Meditate and make the effort. So let's start with the love card because that's the, probably the easiest one to go with. You know, at the beginning of the week, we find you retreating. It feels like somebody's coming on to you or making the effort. And you're like, no, I don't know what I want to do. You're getting into your mind. And the middle of the week, the spirit is saying, come on now, step forward. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So make the effort. Reach out. As you can see, this is this cute little picture of this little boy kissing a little girl, and she's just kind of sitting there. And I feel that's what's going to happen to you in the middle of the week. You're just going to be like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, reach back out. Kiss him back. Okay? Kiss the little boy back. I mean, well, in the card. That's what I'm trying to say. But... I still feel that you're, you're too much in your mind because from the Ascended Masters deck, we get Siddhartha that says meditate. So for some reason, you're feeling some fear, some angst about this love relationship, this, this love opportunity that's coming your way. And we want you to meditate because that's really going to be the quickest way to put you back into your heart space. Now, in terms of your work, your career, your finances, we have some good stuff coming up here. You have some options coming to you. So... Archangel Michael deck, explore your options, and then Angel Tarot deck, King of Air. So in the work front, you have it on lock, okay? And King of Air, that's your card. Air. Air. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's you, okay? Objective, decision-making, blunt, you know, um, speaking your mind with confidence. You run that realm. So I know Wednesday, Thursday is going to be great for you guys because, it, you know, in terms of like where it comes to where you shine work-wise, you're going to be fine. And you have some options coming up for you to explore, for you to, um, to look into, okay? So you don't want to say no to everything. You want to kind of give some things some, some consideration. But um, also include like a mentor or a coach because that seek up professional advice there that's really jumping out to me. So, you know, a lot of times you guys are just really so strong in your mindset that you think you know it all. And sometimes you just want to get like a second opinion, you know, just to kind of see what other people are thinking about this. Okay, let's go into your weekend, Friday and Saturday. Um, we have Five of Earth which was also pulled for the earth signs, which is very interesting because the five of earth talks about being in a state of uncomfortableness. So some situation is going to come up over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, where you're not going to be feeling so confident like you did earlier this week. Um, but I know it's not really going to be affecting you because it's, it's, it's a temporary state, guys. Fives are numbers of change, but they're temporary. They're not permanent changes. And whatever the change is, understand that you invited this contrast in because look what we got. We got Lakshmi with flow of prosperity. Okay, how interesting is that? Flow of prosperity. So I know that whatever it is that you're feeling on Friday and Saturday, it may not be um, something that's really based in reality, more just kind of like you're overthinking, overanalyzing things because Lakshmi is there with your flow of prosperity. So I feel like it, when I'm looking at the whole picture of this week, it feels like the beginning of the week, you get some, some signs about your life purpose. And then the middle of the week, you start to find opportunities come up to express your individuality in that life purpose. So let's say you wanted to become I don't know, like you want to change your career and become like a massage therapist. So you start thinking about that at the beginning of the week. And then in the middle of the week, you start researching and like, oh, there's a massage school and they're opening up and oh, I can join that. But then by the end of the week, you're starting to get fearful, right? Five avert. How am I going to pay for it? How am I going to fit that into my time? I'm already busy. And Lakshmi is there to tell you guys, yes, but it's going to greatly expand your awareness your career, and your financial prosperity. So I feel that she's going to win because Lakshmi is just 
you know, the badass goddess like that. She's just going to win. So whatever it is that you're feeling at the end of the week, don't even worry about it. And here's what Spirit's asking you to do to help you with these feelings of five of earth. Spirit is saying, write, write about your thoughts and feelings, journal, because once you start journaling, you're going to get to the root of why you feel the way you do, which really is not a reality, but it's more things coming up from your subconscious realm, like feelings of inadequacy, of doubt, of self-worth, of self-love, you know? And if you write about it, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's why I'm feeling the way that I feel. And then Spirit gave us a card from the Romance Angels, playfulness. Aw, okay? Just be playful. Playful about it. Allow yourself to see the joy in it. Be like a child. Be like, you know, that that dreamer, that fool that starts a journey just naive and gullible, but innocent, such sweet innocence. And of course, this is a Romance Angels deck, so this is talking about love and relationships. Go into the weekend. Don't bring the stress or drama of your home, your work, your career into your relationship. Just go out and have a good time because we're needing to break up the energy of this five of earth that you're feeling, these fears, okay? So all in all, it looks like you're going to be having a really interesting week where you're going to have some opportunities come up for you to bring you closer to your life purpose. You're going to have some things come up where you're able to have a connection with someone. It feels like someone's going to be pursuing you this week and it's going to scare the bejesus out of you because you're like, what is happening? And you're going to try to pull away. But spirit's going to be nudging you forward towards them and then even probably provide a situation at the end of the week where you can experience some playfulness, maybe a date or something. All right. So I'm going to end with these three cards because I really like how this looks and I want you guys to imprint this on your brain for this week. So air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Here is your messages for the week. Open your heart to love, meditate, and allow the flow of prosperity to come to you. All right, that's your reading for the week of December 4th through the 9th, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.